What's up guys? Today in Ark Survival Evolved, I'm going to show you how to build this Bronto platform cabin. This thing is pretty cool. We get quite a few structures to put on the Bronto platform, so we're able to come up with something that looks pretty neat. If you stick around, I will take you through this whole build step by step, and I will show you all the tricks, all the ins and the outs, and by the end of the video, you should wind up with something that looks just like this. So stick around, I'll show you how to do this, and I'll be back in just a second. Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by. I hope that you all are doing well today. I am Yo-Yo Y2K for Crap Fire Gamers and today I am playing Ark Survival Evolved on Ragnarok. I've got something pretty cool planned for today as you saw in the introduction. We're going to be working on a Bronto platform base or rather a Bronto platform cabin. This thing is pretty cool. I like the way that it turns out. We get 63 structures that we can place on the Bronto platform. So that gives us enough structures to work with that we can build something that's pretty cool. So I hope that you guys enjoy the build. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like down below. It really helps us out and we really appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more videos from us, you can check out some of the links in the description below. You can also head up to our channel page and check out some videos there. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And with that, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, this is actually the like the same first step that we've done on the past several builds, at least when it comes to the platforms, and that is we're going to put down a fence foundation. You can put whatever you want down, but we're just going to break it in a second. So put down, put down something that's not very expensive, like a wooden one or something like that. So I'm using wood, and we're going to try to get this centered in the middle of the platform, and we're also going to try to get it straight. That's important because everything that we build from this point is going to be based off of where we put this first fence foundation. So, no pressure. So what I'm going to look at here is actually this line. So there's a line that I'm looking at right here on the, like on the platform. I want the top of the fence foundation touching that line. And we want a gap of about like a fence foundation and a half. Something maybe about like that. And we're going to try to get this lined up straight. We can use the line on the right of this fence foundation to help us get straight. So right about in there. We'll see if this will work, if this will work for us. So what we're going to do now is to test if this is the center. And again, if you're going to test to see if this is the center, maybe use something like, you know, thatch foundations for this next part but put down a pillar right in the middle of the foundation right in the middle of the fence foundation and now we're gonna go and put down our actual foundations so this is the part where if you're checking to see if you got center I'd go with like some thatch because if they're wrong you'll you'll be able to break them and not waste too many materials so I have my foundations and I'm using metal just because I think the metal looks nice with the platform, it kind of blends in with the look. So what we're going to do is come forward, and we get a snap point right here. And we're going to put another one over here. And see, I did not get that centered because if I come over here, we have more sticking out on the right side of our platform than we do on the left side. All right, guys, so I replaced the foundation. Actually, I replaced it several times until I finally got it. It is tricky, but this is where it should be, right about there. We got just about a little over a fence foundation width from that line. And then once we put our pillar in the middle of that fence foundation, we can snap these actual regular foundations down into the platform. And if we look, we see we've got pretty much the same gap on either side sticking out. So we have a little bit of an overhang with our foundations on both sides of our platform. Now what we're going to do is we can come back and we can get rid of this pillar. And that whole process, that was really the hardest part of the whole build. And once you get past that, it's pretty easy from here. So what we're going to do now is put down some more foundations. And we're going to go two more on this side. 
So if I can get it to snap. One and two, like that. So placing this next foundation is a little tricky because we're not going to be able to see where it goes. But if we have a foundation out and we look down here, it should go... Well, not there. We want it to go next to it, right about there. And if we pull out something, yeah, it looks like it's right there where we want it. You can't see it. It's in the platform, but it's there. And we're able to snap to it. So we're going to keep doing the same thing over on this side. We're going to put down two more foundations. One and two, like that. And now we have our box. We have a 3x3 three three box of foundations. Don't need to put anything in the center. What we're going to do next is put down our windows. So greenhouse glass. And I'm going to go too high like that on like in the middle there and there same thing over here there and there so we just left these two corners empty we'll come back and put the stone and wood in here in a minute so in the middle of this back area is where I'm gonna put a door frame and then you can put whatever kind of door frame you want I want to have a greenhouse glass door frame so I'm gonna come back here and we see we have a couple of snap points we want this back snap point right there so we have that we can come back put a window on top of it and this is what we have so far one thing that's a little funky about this since we have the foundations sunk into the platform you can't walk through here your head gets caught on this wall above you you can crouch and get through it if that bugs you you can put down another door frame above this so you can have do like two door frames and then that'll keep you from having to duck so the next step is to put down our first layer of walls that aren't greenhouse so we're gonna do stone for this again you can use whatever you want but we're gonna come over here and the corners that we left empty, we're going to put our stone walls in all of those gaps. Like that, and then come over here, do the same thing. And there, and there. So we have the beginnings of our little cabin. Okay, so the next step is to work on building our walls up another level. I want to place my walls facing inside out. So to do that, what we're going to do is come outside and put some ceilings along the outside of our building. And if you're building this in survival, this is another place where you're probably going to you're probably going to want to use thatch because we're going to get rid of this stuff in just a second. You can use some ramps to get up there. And then we're going to get rid of this ramp in a second. So come up here, we can place down all of our ceilings around. Alright, so once we have our ceilings down like this, now what we're going to do is place our walls inside out. And this is optional, you don't have to do it this way. I like the way that the interior texture looks, and I think that the interior texture of the wood looks really cool facing outward. So what I'm going to do since I have these ceilings down, I can look down at my feet and I can get the wall to snap so that the interior texture is facing out. Something I learned from watching UTC and it's something that I do quite a bit in my builds just because I love that texture. So same thing over here. Like that. And look down at your feet. And get the snap like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish around here. Then we're going to come back, take down these ceilings because they are just temporary. And then we'll go on with the next part of the build.
All right, so if you've been following along, you should be to this point where we've got our walls too high. We've gotten our interior textures facing out. Again, that is completely up to you. But right now, we have this structure like this. So next thing that we're going to do is come in and put down our sloped walls. So we're going to slope in like so. And then we're going to actually come back with glass over the glass like that and like that. So we have ourselves a peak. We got the glass theme going up. We got the glass theme going up and come back with some slope ceilings. I'm just going to use some stone slope ceilings. You can use whatever you want. You can use some thatch. Adobe looks nice. Now that we have our ceilings over there, we're going to come back over here and put in some ceilings on this side. Like that and like that. And we're also going to... So actually, I want to show you something. There's a couple of different ways that you can make this. And depending on if you want to get a lot of extra stuff on the platform, like a lot of smithies or, you know, base type stuff. Like if you want some refining forges and some mortar and pestles and you want the most you can get on this, then you might want to go this route where you go just like that. And then you have your ceilings over top of you and you can come back in the back and put a ladder right here. So you can come back and put a ladder like this and then you can get up to this top area and we can access it. But if you want something that looks cool, what we're going to do is create a little doorway right here that will take us out onto our little deck. Again, this gives you extra space to put down structures, like extra space for smithies, refining forges, mortar and pestles, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these ladders. And again, you only need that one ladder up top. That'll save you even more on your building structures. So get rid of that roof. I'm going to come back, put a ceiling in, just temporarily. And then, actually, what I should have done, I should have went up top first. So what we're going to do now is go ahead put in our door frame. Again, I'm going with the glass look. And we're going to actually need to get rid of these sloped ceilings. So if you're going to go this route, put your sloped ceilings in last. So what I want to do next is grab a ceiling. And I'm going to use a stone ceiling so it'll match our slopes. And I'm going to put this one down first. So the reason we want to put this ceiling in first is because once we put down the walls, which is the next, the next step, we are actually going to get multiple snap points with that ceiling. And so it's just a lot easier to get it placed correctly if you put it down first before you put in your walls. So again, I turn the walls so that the interior texture is facing out. It's up to you whether or not you do that. But I can come in now and I can get rid of this ceiling. And we have that remaining. And now I'm going to come back with my sloped ceilings. And just finish this off. And we've got some crazy snap points. So if I can come over here get it to go right there. And we have that. Now we can put in our doors. See. Like that. Got a door there. Come in here. Put a door in. Then I can come out here. I can get rid of these. And now I'm going to put a ladder hanging down right here. If I can get it to go just right. Like that. There we go. Now we can just climb up here, and we're outside. 
Alright, so what I'm going to do next is put down some fences around, or some railings, I guess, around this little balcony. Just kind of fence it in a little bit. And you can utilize this however you want. You can put some beds up here. You can put maybe a ballista or something up here. It's up to you. But I think it's pretty cool to have this up here. You can just go inside. And in here, we're ready to start putting down some other stuff. So, Welcome back, guys. So I have placed some structures around to give you an idea of what this place looks like with a few things on it. So I got a forge out here inside. Just got some of the basics. There's a fabricator. We got a fireplace and a preserving bin. There's a storage box, a bed. We got a smithy. And we're out of structures now. So I wanted to show you a couple more things you could do to get a few more structures. And it's pretty crazy, but you can actually come over here and I don't know if you can see it from right here. There's a wall. I can get to it. You can actually get rid of this metal floor that gives you one more item so I can come back in and like if we have a uh, mortar and pestle we can come back in we can put this down somewhere like, I don't know maybe right here and then if we need more structures we can actually get rid of I think pretty much this entire line of foundations so all of these yeah you can get rid of all of those and your structure stays behind I'll tell you though I have tried getting rid of stuff on the other side and the base starts to fall down like if you get rid of this one you're gonna lose this entire wall here since we did get rid of that line of foundations on this side of the platform I was able to come back in and put down a few more stuff a few more things put down a little mortar and pestle and up top I actually used this little balcony to put down a chair and a cooking pot so you come out here and we can ride on the Bronto cook our dinner make some dyes so that's pretty much it for the base I think I'm gonna slap a little paint on this real quick and then do an outro so give me a second paint this up just a little bit and then I will be back all right, so I've added just a quick little coat of paint on some of the structures. I painted region one of the stone walls tan, region one of the wooden walls, and also the slope walls in slate. I really like the look of slate on the wood. It gives it kind of a nice rustic aged kind of feel. And the greenhouse glass is region two in forest green. And then also the ceilings the slope ceilings are regions one and regions five slate or not slate forest green just like the greenhouse glass so this is the base and we are done only thing left to do is to take a little ride around go up here take a look out real quick and sit in our chair Alright guys, so while we're riding around on the back of this Bronto, I wanted to take this opportunity to give you a little insight as to why I built the cabin this way. I specifically sunk the foundations deeper into the platform so that we could access the Bronto from anywhere on the platform. We could be inside the cabin, just look down at the ground and access the inventory of the Bronto and also ride the Bronto. So we don't have to worry about foundations being in our way or having to leave a gap so we can actually see the platform because we can see the platform anywhere from the base so and I also left a little space behind the cabin so that we can land our flyers back there like I've got my RG back there right now but we can also put you know a on back there or you can use that space to put down some more refining forges put down a campfire different stuff like that so there's a little more room on the back that you can utilize to put some more stuff so that you don't completely overcrowd the inside of your cabin because the cabin's not that huge it's big enough but it is kind of quaint all right guys that's going to be it for today i hope that you have enjoyed the build if you did please don't forget to leave a like down below it really helps us out and we really appreciate it and if you want to see more videos from us you can check out some of the links in the description below 
you can also head over to our channel page check out some videos there if you guys like what you see make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything and with that thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time